Hi guys, uh, I'm outside St Michael's this morning looking for poppies. I'm told there's lots of poppies outside the church, so I'm going to go and see if we can find them. You count with me. When you see a poppy, you count it and remember. When we get to the end, we see how many we found. Okay, are you coming? You're not. Oh, you are. Good. All right, we'll see you in a minute. So here we go. The search is on. You tell me when you can see a poppy. All right. And I've got to lie down to see this one. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, you counting? I'm told that there's lots of poppies by the church, but why do we have poppies? Well, you see this cross here. Is there a poppy there? There's not a poppy. But we put these crosses where people have been laid to rest when they've died so that we remember who they were and where they are. Oh, look, what's that? Are you counting? All oh, right, okay. We were our poppies because we remember lots of people who have died. But these are people who died during different wars in the world. Very sad times. Oh, there you are. What's that then? Right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I think there's a, oh, hang on. No, they said there's some all around the church. I can't see any anywhere. Oh, oh, there's one. Good, did you see that? Are you counting? Are you counting? Now these poppies, ah, lovely, look at that. There's another one. These poppies grew in fields where there were once battles, particularly in the First World War. And when many people died, these poppies grew. There you go. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, I'm told there's lots of poppies all around the church. I don't know, I've lost count. But these poppies grew where people had died and somebody had the great idea of making them a symbol a way of remembering all those people who have died. Now we've got lots of people buried in our churchyard here. Can you see all these stones? And these stones have got names written in them so that we will remember them. When we come to think of those people who have died, particularly during the First and Second World War and other wars too. Oh, there you go, another one. Are you counting? Gosh, I don't know how many is that. I've lost count. When we write people's names down to remember those who have died during the First and the Second World War and other military conflicts, how do you think we write them? Do you just write them on paper? Oh, no, poppies. No good writing them on paper because, well, it can get lost, can't it? And it can blow away and it can get wet and be destroyed. Okay, so we don't write their names on paper. Oh, there's a poppy. Look, there you are. How many is that? Oh dear, I don't know. Oh, I've lost count. We will write their names on stone, look, so that we remember people who have died. You can see there. And the names are written on stone so that we don't forget them. No good writing their names in the sand. Have you ever written your name in the sand on a beach? Can you see any poppies? We've all done that, haven't we? And what happens when the, when the tide comes in? It washes it all away. So we write people's names in stone. And if you go down to the bench and see the war memorial, oh, very soon, another poppy, you'll see lots of poppies on the war memorial, you will. And those poppies are there to remind us of those people who have died, but poppies are not there all the time. And so they've written names, not on paper, not on sand. Oh, look, can you see in my car? There's another one. Names written not in sand or on paper, but names written in stone. Have I got any more poppies? How many is that? I don't know. How many? Oh, there's one down there. Are you counting? Yeah, I'm counting too. So remember, when we... Oh! Did you see that? Oh my word. I think I've lost count. How many did you have so far? Look at this lot of poppies here. Astonishing. Goodness me. 
there are thousands of poppies there. That's incredible. Do you know what? I've lost count of how many poppies that I had, and, I, and if I had to count these, I would be in trouble. I couldn't do it. And you know, that's why there's lots of poppies, because there's lots of people who dive. Now, I can't see. Look, I can see over there on your school gates. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see? Who's that? Oh, hello. Look, I can see poppies. Poppies on your gates today. And that's absolutely great. Well done. You know, there's poppies everywhere. And that's absolutely fantastic as we remember all those who have died. Well, I've come into this church to see if there is something we can do ourselves this morning to remember all those who have died. Look, here's a candle. And there's lots of poppies. Oh, and there's another poppy too. I'm wearing one. So I'm going to light this candle and we're going to say a prayer. Okay. So we sit quietly and we remember about all those people who have died. Remember when they died in that field in the First World War and all the poppies grew. And somebody had the idea of using poppies as a symbol. You might like to talk about what a symbol is. But a symbol, a way that we can remember all those who died. And so we wear our poppies, and there are poppies everywhere. We've seen them all around the church this morning. But we've also seen um, that when we remember people who have died, we write their names in stone so that we don't forget. No good writing on paper or in sand, but we write their names in stone. We carve them so that they're there to be remembered. And if you go to all the war memorials around our country, around the world, in fact, and locally, if you go to the war memorial down at the bench, you'll see names of those men who were, who were killed during the Second World War and the First World War. And they're there for us to remember. So I'm going to light a candle and we're going to pray. So you just sit still for a moment. Put your hands on your lap. We'll put them together. But we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us to remember Thank you that at this time of year we see poppies everywhere and we may even wear one ourselves. Thank you that they help us remember all those who died. Help us never to forget, but to remember with thankfulness their sacrifice. For us. We ask these things because we thank you for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you today. I'll see you on a, a video again next week. Um, but if you're around and about this weekend and you see poppies, look, there's lots of them here and there's lots all around the church, especially outside the church with that fantastic display. And your school gates look absolutely fabulous this morning. So we can't forget, can we? I hope not. I'll see you soon. Bye.